Hmm, what to choose, what to choose. This looks good. What's up YouTube, it's Verdix here, bringing you guys another video today. And today, we are finally, finally on Destiny. We're finally done with Call of Duty Ghosts, and we can play a good game. Now, obviously, this is not the beta anymore. This is the full game just released, and this is going to be my first video of the full game. At least I obviously had two videos of the beta already on my channel, but this is going to be my first video of the full game, and what we're going to do is do a class breakdown of the Hunter Gunslinger subclass. So, basically what this means, I'm not going to tell you guys what I would choose to use. I'm not going to tell you guys what my favorite class is, what my best what I think the best class is in the game. Those will be videos at later dates, but first I want to give you guys breakdowns of each and every class and subclass in the game. So, first one we're going to be doing is Gunslinger. Obviously, uh, for multiple reasons, I have the most experience with this one. I played it in the beta, and because it's the character that I'm using right now. So, let's get right into this. Now, the way I'm going to explain it to you is I'm going to show you guys each tree going down, but that is not how you are going to unlock these skills. You're not going to unlock your grenade and then just go down the tree with the grenades and then keep going left to right. You're going to go left to right like this. So, as you can see already, I got these four and I'm working on this fifth one. So, the way I'm going to be introducing the skills to you is not the way you're going to unlock them. It's just the best way to do it because it stays in, its, in each individual category. So, the first category is going to be your grenade. And the first grenade that you unlock as the gunslinger is the incendiary grenade. And that is pretty obvious that it just catches them on fire. So you throw it at them, it explodes, and it's uh, it's going to do some explosive damage from the detonation. And then it's going to catch them on fire and do some extra damage over time. Your next grenade is your swarm grenade. This was my personal favorite grenade in the beta, but I mean, I only got to use two. So basically... I just liked it better than the incendiary one. But pretty much you throw this and wherever it ends up sticking, uh, wherever it hits first, it's going to detonate right there. And when it detonates, it's not gonna just go away. So it's gonna release multiple drones as you see right there. And then as players get near that, it's going to seek them out and then explode on them. So the way that I use this uh, to be the most ex effective is that when I'm close to someone, I'll throw it at them, just straight at them. It's going to detonate as soon as it hits the ground near their feet or it hits them. And then every single drone that comes out of that detonation is going to go straight for them. It's going to do a ton of damage and then I can just knife them and they're going to die. Next grenade is your trip mine grenade, and that works kind of like a claymore uh, from Call of Duty, or if you want to compare it specifically to Call of Duty Ghosts, it works exactly like a IED. <clears throat> so you place it on the ground, well it doesn't have to be on the ground, but you place it somewhere and then when someone walks near it, it's going to explode. Next category is going to be your jumps. Now, one thing I want to explain to you guys is you're not going to get each one of these. It's pretty obvious with the grenades that you're only going to get to choose one, but with these it may not be so obvious. When you see this arrow here, you're going to get this 100%, and then you choose these as an upgrade. So the first thing you're going to get is your double jump. Next, once you unlock these three under here, you can either go for better control, you can go for a triple jump, or you can go for a higher jump. Now, the only one that I got to play with in the beta was better control, because obviously it had a level cap of 8, and you couldn't get this low into the tree. Uh, but I didn't really notice a difference with it, to be quite honest with you. I didn't really pay attention, but it may or may not have been useful. Uh, your next one's a triple jump that's pretty self-explanatory, and then your higher jump is, obvious, is pretty self-explanatory as well. I don't know if, how much higher it lets you jump, because I haven't gotten to play with it, but it's, ob it's pretty obvious what it does. Your next tree is your golden eye tree. Once again, you have this arrow here, so you're gonna get your golden gun as your supercharge, and then you're gonna get to choose one of these things under it to upgrade it. First thing you get is dead eye. 
significantly increases the accuracy of the golden gun. I personally don't find that the accuracy of the golden gun is bad and needs increasing, to be honest. So I probably won't be using this. I'll get it, obviously, when it's the only thing I have. But the upgrade that I'm really looking at is combustion. Gunfighter is good too, but let me talk about combustion real quick. Killing enemies with golden gun causes them to explode. Now, the, th the way I'm thinking of this is, say four people are on a flag and you're close to them, you're obviously not gonna be able to kill them with just your gun. Even if you have your golden gun, you're only gonna be able to take out three at most. That's assuming, because all four of them are gonna start, maybe, they may be shooting at other people. But let's just assume all four of them are gonna start shooting at you. Probably the most kills you're gonna pick up is two there. Uh, but with combustion, if you shoot one of them, that one person's gonna die because it's an insta kill 99% of the time. That one person's gonna die and then he's gonna explode all three of the remaining enemies are going to take some damage. Now, I assume that one combustion is not going to kill kill people because that'd be kind of OP, but I assume it's going to do quite a decent amount of damage. So if you shoot one of them, all three of them take damage, and then shoot a second one, because you're probably going to have time to pick up at least two kills, shoot a second one, the remaining two are also going to take damage from that second person's combustion, and you may be able to kill them with just the two combustions on the last two people, and then your two shots on the first two. And that, to me, sounds badass <clears throat> your next um ability or upgrade is gunfighter and that just reduces the cooldown so you can use it more and let's get into the next tree that is going to be your throwing knife and i personally didn't find this useful at all but i mean i guess it may be if you can get it down to where you can be accurate with it and use it well i can see it being pretty good especially with one of the upgrades but Personally, <clears throat> I did not like it. you It's not like you get to pull it out and then hold it and aim with it. As soon as you hit your right bumper, you're throwing it. So you don't get to aim with it and it doesn't pull out quickly. So where you're aiming at the time may be a completely different place than where the enemy ends up being because of how slow it pulls out. And all this time you're pulling out your knife and then you're pulling out your gun after you throw it, that person's shooting at you. It, it's just not a very viable option, in my opinion. And on top of that, it's not even a one-hit kill. <clears throat> but with the upgrades, the circle of life. Now, this thing is pretty interesting because, as it says right there, when you kill someone with your throwing knife, it extends the duration of your golden gun. Now, the reason that's pretty cool is there is a gear upgrade, and if you don't know what that is, I can show you real quick. As you see right there on my chest armor, it says press Y to upgrade. And if you go over here, if I upgrade it, which I can right now, it increases the amount of pulse rifle ammo I can carry. Now, uh, there is a gear upgrade like that, but instead of that, what it does is it makes it so if you get a kill with your throwing knife, or, or no, if you get a kill with your golden gun, it decreases your cooldown time on your throwing knife. So you can see how that could start stacking up and getting you to chain throwing knife kills and golden gun kills. The only kick about that is that you still only get the three shots in the golden gun, so it's not like you're just going to be able to run around forever with it. You're still only gonna get your three shots and then you're done, <clears throat> and you have to get your supercharge back up. But still, nonetheless, that could be pretty cool if you can get your throwing knives on point. The next one is the one that I find the most useful in my opinion, and it's the one that catches them on fire. So if you can manage to hit them with your throwing knife before you die, you're probably going to die after you hit them with it, but you're going to catch them on fire with your with your throwing knife, and it's very possible that you're going to end up getting that kill while you're dead just from the dot damage they're going to take from the fire. The next one it says precision kills with throwing knife immediately resets its cooldown. That's going to be pretty hard to do because a precision kill is you hit him in the head. Uh, so if you hit him in the head with a throwing knife, you immediately get another one. So if you get really good at that, that could be kind of awesome, but eh, I don't. I probably won't be able to do that. The next tree, uh, you're only going to choose one of these, so you get to choose your path. Now each path training or er, focuses your training on two different of these attributes. So you're either going to get armor and agility, well, it says toughness and speed here, battle recovery and speed, which is recovery and agility, <coughs> and battle recovery and toughness, which is armor and recovery. So you get to choose one of those, and it's pretty self-explanatory what it does. 
Next tree or next uh, category uh, right here, you get scavenger. So it's pretty obvious when you pick up ammo. Well, it's not, I guess it's not as obvious. When you pick up ammo, so that means the green or purple crates that are on the ground around the maps. So green is your special ammo, purple is your heavy. When you pick that up, it reduces the cooldown of your grenade and throwing knife, which is pretty nice because I pick up ammo for my sniper all the time so that I could see that reducing the cooldown of my grenade pretty often, which would be nice. It doesn't really affect me with the throwing knife though, but this one is pretty cool as well called keyhole obviously as you can see there it says it over penetrates and can damage multiple targets so pretty much what that means is it can get a collateral now i don't know if the second person it hits is going to die in that one shot like the first person but they're obviously going to take damage quite a significant amount of damage most likely and it's going to make finishing them off with another gun just a hell of a lot easier the next one is precision kills increase weapon stability so basically, as you get headshots, your weapons become more accurate. And it stacks up to three times. <clears throat> now, the next uh, categories are like the paths, but they're called the ways. So the training is focused on more, like you get a shit ton more, but it's only in one category, like in this one, or you get a lot more recovery, but just a tiny bit of agility. And then here you get you get a decent amount of all three so that's just up to you guys uh i really don't have any it completely depends on your play style which one you're going to want to go with there so i don't really have any comments to make about those those are pretty self-explanatory uh so yeah next category and the last one first ability is your chain of woe and this is actually pretty cool as you get headshots it increases your weapon reload speed now I hate reloading the sh it, when it takes forever, so reload speed is something I actually really like in games like this. I just, I hate when I kill people and then take forever to reload before I can start shooting people again. Uh, that's more for the campaign or story, the, the storyline side of the game than the multiplayer. Multiplayer reloading isn't too big of a deal, but in the missions, I just... I like shooting all the time. I hate reloading. So I could see this being pretty useful in the missions at least. This one increases the range of your golden gun. That's pretty obvious. And this one you get an additional throwing knife, which in my opinion is useless. But I guess it would make it like you could use this. You'd get an additional throwing knife and then pair that with your incendiary blade. So both of them are catching on fire. So if you hit the same person with both knives, they're probably going to die just from the impact of both knives, even if you don't have the incendiary on them. But they're 100% dying if you have the incendiary and two knives that you hit them with. But that's pretty much all for today, guys. Just wanted to give you guys a breakdown of this class, show you guys every ability in it, and give you guys a quick little rundown of what each one does. But that is going to be the end of the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the first real Destiny video. There will be some gameplay coming in the next few days. This one was just pretty quick and easy and I wanted to get one up as quickly as possible but there will be some gameplay footage coming most likely tomorrow so thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like and if you would like to see more from me in the future be sure to subscribe